bastards can rise higher. y'all so currently i'm actually on my way to a studio shoot see outside of what i do in music i do video work for other people for example today i'm gonna go shoot for a gym brand and yeah currently we're working together but i just want y'all to realize that don't just lock into one skill you know what i mean we're given multiple talents in this life don't think that you're only limited to one thing if you're a producer don't think you're only limited to that if you are an artist that either you have two hands you know what i mean like your mind is so powerful you can do multiple things i'm sharing this with you so you can understand that there's not only potential in music but there are so many avenues that you can take in life you know what i mean and i was fortunate enough to pick up a camera and have love for it have love for shooting content for people being that person behind the scenes you know what i mean there's something amazing about that N not only does picking up multiple skills benefit you in the long run with your skills but also your creativity it all works together at the end of the day i think all the skills that we attain just work together and pushes us forward as creatives in general so i'm gonna stop by the market buy a couple things for the event and then after that i'll keep you guys posted What's up y'all? About to react to, actually it's called floor because floor. I didn't know what else to call it. I think I saw the floor or some shit. <laughs> I just called it floor. <laughs> just thinking, looking at the wall. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's good, man. Full of squad. Fuck, bro. I didn't even introduce the freaking goat, bro. Okay. The boy. They know me. They know the me. The boy. That's true. That's true. They know you. Coming soon on YouTube, bro. Should I say it? So no works. It's in the works. works. New content coming soon. Yes, sir. Ski. Tap in. But this is it. Floor. Yeah. Okay, fuck. I, I really like floor, bro. I really like the name. You oh, know, floor. it's so simple. But I like, what, what you I do could, with it? What, could, what kind of meaning could I add to that? The floor. Because I was thinking of like listening to it a few more times and just coming up with is some this part of, of your EP. Lyrics. Yeah, this is gonna be part of it too. I was just thinking of a cover art of you like just laying on the floor, just like, just like, like in Project X, like the cover of Project yeah, X, you know, like with a bunch of cups. Yeah, like, <laughs> no cups, but like on the floor Red with cups. like uh, 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 on the side, Ooh. like the. Fire, Yo, bro. what? That's actually crazy. As fuck. Edit this out, bro. They can't. <laughs> they, somebody gonna steal it. I'm fire, bro. My genuine reaction, man, is like, like always, bro. You just like keep on creating better and better music. Not only better music, but like better mixes as well. Thank like you. you're just like finding your groove, bro. You feel me? Like I fuck with the bars. I fuck with the delivery. I fuck with like how you layer like a lower tone. Uh, well, cause people tell me all the time like we sound very similar, similar yeah. for whatever reason. So I think like you using like that deeper like tone like really like added some character to it thank you yeah. bro. thank you thank you fire. i appreciate that man yes sir i'm trying to like uh it's like uh experimental i guess you know That's what i mean fire, like, bro. Some I fuck with that. and i fuck with like i said i fuck with the name just floor floor all right y'all that's gonna be it for the reaction yes so uh, catch y'all on the next one i'll be Shout seeing you too very soon you know coming just soon tap in you know and and be patient <laughs>
Right there, come on, brothers, bitch. I give a fuck about you. I'd rather get double rich. Yo, oh, that's tough. Oh. That's tough. Double rich. That's. <laughs> Bastards can rise higher. Currently, I'm at the cafe. It was doing some editing for that shoot that I did. The gym brand, so you can see I'm wearing it right now. I'm not used to recording in public, so if I'm not looking at the camera, that's probably why. I think this weekend has been kind of rough mentally. My flesh has been wanting to fall back into bad habits and you know things that hold me back from my potential. And I want to remind everyone that you're the one who dictates what you do and, and how you react to things. So when you do fall back into something, if it's a bad habit or whatever it is, just remember that you determine how you feel after you you fall into that but you can either allow that to push you into a downwards momentum and then you just start crashing down until you hit rock bottom again or you can use that to fuel your success i mean if you do something wrong you learn from it and you keep moving like i mentioned in the previous video the moment you start falling back into something or doing something wrong don't let that stop you you got to keep crawling you got to keep jogging running whatever the case may be just as long as you're moving closer to your goals is the is the main purpose but outside of all of that i want to remind everyone watching this that we all have a purpose and we all have potential to do something great but the only thing is that it's different for everyone you know well not everyone has the same purpose or the same calling to do in this earth if yours is making music and you're you're watching this video then maybe you're called to make music but i just want to encourage everyone that keep trying new things because you never know what's gonna be your actual calling. You never know what's gonna allow you to make it. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanna talk about now. I have been facing setbacks, not setbacks, but I have been facing mental challenges as far as like falling back into bad habits and uh, things like that, you know, and just being complacent. You know getting comfortable these are things that that i think everyone kind of faces for me i'm like the type of person who's hard on myself which i know is not good to a certain extent but i think it's important because nobody's going to be hard on you now i'm in my own i'm in a comfortable state i can finally talk loud so one thing i've been facing lately and i think a lot of us do at point is really figuring out what are what we're supposed to be doing right you know a lot of the times i think as young men i think we could get lost in just daily life especially in this era of social media and just the internet it's easy to compare yourself there are things that there's so many things you want to try so many things you want to be and you're kind of spread thin due to the amount of things you're exposed to right i mean think about it think of back in the western days you know what i mean there were very small villages, very small towns of people who had just normal everyday jobs. I mean, we had like a baker, a cashier. Like we weren't exposed to so much back then, but nowadays with the internet, it's like, what do I do? I'll use me for example. Do I become a rapper? Do I become a singer? Do I become a producer? Do I become a cameraman? Do I become an editor? You know, there's so many things. And to answer that question for you guys and those struggling to figure that out, I want everyone to know you just have to become the best version of you. I know it's so broad, but whatever you enjoy doing, whatever skill that you like, that you find interest in, whatever brings excitement to your life, I want you to do that thing to the best of your ability and just keep trying everything. Doesn't matter, pick up a camera, pick up the mic, pick up FL Studios, Logic, whatever you enjoy. Pick up a book, start writing, start doing things you never would have thought you'd be doing. You know what I mean? Just go all out, man. Because at the end of the day, we're only here once and the only way to really pinpoint that one thing we're really about is to just try anything, man. And this is one of the realest things I could tell you guys. If you truly wanna figure out your calling, stop with the bad habits. And I'm talking to myself too. Stop with the, the complacency, the laziness. These things are just dirt. You know in Minecraft, there's literally a diamond at the bottom close to the bedrock. 
and above it there's a bunch of this cobblestone and dirt and to get to those diamonds you got to get rid of the dirt man and i'm telling you we all got that in our life we all have bad thoughts we all have negative thoughts we're all surrounded by negative people at points whether it's in our day job or whether it's going out at night whatever the case may be we always have some form of negativity around us in this world and, it, and there's no doubt about that but let me tell you, you could be the light. You could shine that light to other people. And that's what I want to share with y'all in this in this episode. I might not be talking about music as much, but I, I feel like these vlogs are my way of helping you guys outside of the music because there's more to music and music is just a reflection of who you are inside. And I want everybody watching this to be at their fullest potential. I want everyone watching this to really change the world in a positive way. And this is why I talk about this because I want everyone to really feel it, man. And I'm very passionate about this and I might talk a little bit crazy. Some people won't like it, most people will like it. I don't know how it'll go, but I just wanna share this to, to help you guys. I'm here to remind you that you have potential and you have a calling on this earth. It's it's up to you to dictate how you're gonna take life, how serious you're gonna take it. I know this is very bold and very hard to take in, but no one is gonna do it for you. Much love to everyone who watches my videos. And yeah, man, let's keep creating, let's keep being great. And this is Mad For Love. Don't forget to stay up, man, and stay blessed. Let's get it, man.